So I'm finally in Norwich, in the ancient city of Norwich, one of Britain's most historic and beautiful cities, to finally take a walk around Norwich. But I'll be honest with you, I know nothing about Norwich. So luckily for me, I have recruited a band of uh, UEA's finest students to show me around Norwich. So I'm going to be guided by them. So whatever they want to show me is what this walking tour of Norwich will include. Um, we, <laughs> munching, on a, munching on a cream slice, we have obviously Oliver, who you... You've met me before. Who you've met before. <laughs> you know me before. Smoking his way around Berlin. I'll be better this time. And we've got Ellie Hello. and Liv and James. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously, look, I got, we've got Heidi and Joe, so we've got we've got a full we've got we've got a full set. We've got a full, a full set. Who, who knows where we'll go? I'll, to most of you, if we don't include the big heritage stuff, I will. We can't not go to the castle and the cathedral. We will pick that up. Heidi's got a bit of knowledge about Norwich, so we will we'll do it. Where, where are we going first? Where are we starting? Um, oh, do you want to take us down to the heritage bit? We'll start with somewhere yeah. nice. We'll start with the nice Because I think that's on the way to Prince of Wales Road and then Riverside and all the other things and down there. We'll descend into Norwich's underbelly. It's gritty <laughs> underbelly. on Pri it's Which is it's, it's contained underbelly. to one street, the Prince of Wales Road. So it's famously said that Norwich has a, a <laughs> pub for every day of the year and a church for every week of the year, is that correct? I think so. I think it's got the mo most churches per like sp square space in a city of anywhere because there's one on every corner and they convert them loads of like coffee shops, there's like antique shops in them. So they're really good. They've done a lot with them. I think I heard that Norwich has, this, now sound, this is going to surprise you, I think Norwich has more medieval churches than any city in Europe, which is kind of amazing. You would think that would be somewhere like... Florence or Padua <laughs> or Rome or something like that. But apparently it's Norwich. We're walking past one here. Uh, this is St Andrew's Church. So this medieval archway here, what looks medieval, leads into, um, this is uh, Norwich University of the Arts. So Norwich was a really important medieval city. We'll pick up some of the proper history later on, but it was also really important in the Anglo-Saxon period. Later on, near the cathedral, we'll pick up some of that uh, Anglo-Saxon city, which is very, still present. So what's the, what's the river? Now, um, this is really bad because we've forgotten, but it definitely begins with a W. Mm. Is it the Wonsum? <laughs> There's the yeah, River Yar, right. and I think this is the river... It begins, definitely begins with a W. It's, it's, the, not, it's the Not Yar. Maybe it, I'll... It's the Wonsum, I think, isn't it? Probably. The, the Wonsum. The Wonsum. Oh. I imagine some of the people that will find this video will be people thinking of coming to study at UEA, oh, or people coming to study at UEA. What, what's the experience of Norwich as a city Norwich from a student perspective. is a lovely city. It's very nice. It's very pretty. You will have to deal with the clubs. They're okay. You'll live. They're a lot better than some of the alternatives. Trust me, I've been to Loughborough. You don't want to go clubbing in Loughborough. This, this <laughs> it makes this place look like Mecca. But um, it's nice, it's quiet, and it's not too expensive for a pint. Um, the pubs are good, and the campus is cool. Um, if you're that's first it. year, the LCR's great. The LCR's great. Yeah. If you're first year, the LCR's good for clubbing, but it gets old quickly because... It's one club, but it's always safe. It, I never feel unsafe here, which is a good thing. Everything is very like accessible yeah. as well. Like there's good buses right into the uni and you live on campus so first year, so it's nice. Yeah. And then if you're in the city, it's great. The city's nice and there's lots to do. And we were just saying earlier, like the UEA campus is probably one of the most beautiful campuses that you can be on. It's got the lake and the architecture around there. It's just the Sainsbury Centre, which is like an art gallery, which is incredible. They used to have like a Picasso there and things like that, which is good. They have exhibits like every six months, I think, and it's free access for UEA students and staff. So you can just go whenever you like, which is good. Amazing. Let's crack on. Where are we going now? Which way? Good question. Uh, Jay, Did you, you want to go the way that you know? Well, it says Riverside Walk on the sign there. Yeah. We, we could walk along the river. Follow the river. 
but yeah. well, yeah, we could yeah, just nice. get a face full of concrete and not much else. I don't know. No, or we could. It's not not down here. We it's could make it to the Iceni. Is the Iceni this mm, way? It's a long walk. That is a trek, actually. Yeah. They clearly haven't watched these videos. They think it's a long walk as a problem. <laughs> So I think we're going up to Castle Meadows now. But so everywhere looks fascinating. Everywhere, look at this street here that we're not walking up. And in this old sort of brick and flint building over here, you have Cinema City, which looks fascinating. St. Michael at Plea Church there. I mean, as I've said, there are so many churches in Norwich. We will see but a fraction of them. So we're going down Queen Street now. This is uh, Revolution Key, but this isn't a place where the students go, apparently. It's quite expensive cocktail bar, which is kind of paradoxical if you think about it. Haiti spotted this lovely old church. It's St Mary the Less, which closed during the Reformation. It's been used ever since. The body of the church is 13th century with a porch added in the 14th century and then there are 15th century additions. And now there's just some paintings here. This is one of the sort of things which is amazing about Norwich, things like this. This is exciting. We're going towards the cathedral now and the castle. The kind of the parting of worlds here. Down there you've got a great pub that does triples mischief. And, and over this way is the house of God. Um, so it really depends what mood you're in, depending on which way you go. Um, the church is lovely, but so is mischief. So it's hard to say. Both? Both. In what order? There, then in the confession box, I think. It's good that Oliver gave us the lowdown on, on the the pub that does cheap triples. What he neglected to mention though is that this is the um, this is the Anglo-Saxon market square here. So we're in, this is Anglo-Saxon Norwich or the heart of Anglo-Saxon Norwich here. I literally got that from an information board in the side there. So it's very occluded that, you know, so. Uh, I know I have my priorities. Yeah, yeah. What, cheap, cheap triples. Pub. Cheap triples. There's cheap triples down there. And, and, and special license. Two things I come to Norwich for, cheap triples and absolution. You know, all you need that um, cobbled square over there is also part of the old Anglo-Saxon centre. So this archway here leads us into the cathedral precincts. The magnificent Norwich Cathedral dates back to 1096 when it was founded by the first Bishop of Norwich, Herbert Losinia, Los I can never pronounce that, uh, who had actually uh, originally intended to establish a cathedral at Thetford but uh, was persuaded to move to Norwich. It's considered to be um, one of the finest Romanesque cathedrals in Europe. It has the second tallest spire in England and the largest monastic cloisters in England. It also has a series of quite magnificent medieval roof bosses as well. It's a really awe-inspiring space. This is the uh, this is the tomb of Herbert de Lucigna, is that how you say it? The founder and builder of the cathedral in 1096.
so now I think we're going from one extreme to the other. We're going from the cathedral to Prince of Wales Street, which is, I think, a hub of student nightlife. Norwich is just so casually beautiful, isn't it? It's just history littered everywhere. It's incredible. I very much doubt this will be on the kids' tour, so I'm going to include it here. Look, look the Anglia television building up there. That was iconic, the Anglia TV kind of... Um, title sequence was iconic when I was a kid so it always gives me a thrill to see that building and next to it is the majestic kind of sandstone old post office which looks like it's uh, boarded up at the moment. So, Ollie w where are we why are we here? Do not let its grey bleakness <laughs> deceive you this is the ho this is the the Las Vegas of Norfolk. <laughs> we are on Prince of Wales. <laughs> um, this is the strip of clubs and bars and takeaways. You smell it everything. before you see it. You definitely do. As, as we did when we turned the corner. I mean, we can uh, take you on a peruse. Okay, great. Down the, the strip of dreams. Who knows dreams or dreams. nightmares, maybe? It definitely doesn't look as good during the day. You see it bleak and empty of any people and you think, God, do I really come here at night time? What's the scene at night time then, Ellie? Well, it's full of people, there's streets, there's always police and everything, because everyone comes and there's Thursday night student nights, all the clubs do like two-for-one deals or free entry and things like that. So it's just lined with students. So we, we have arrived at Aussie's, the kebab shop. Now we've got a local, we've brought down a local expert, uh, specialises in Aussies. Oh, this is my favourite place, I feel like I'm a connoisseur of Aussies, you know. <laughs> I've been here since day one, and I've, I've made everyone else come here. It's the best order from Aussies. For James. me personally, Donna Meat Chips and Cheese. Oh, I get yeah, Donna Meat Chips and Cheese. But, you know, with chips? With chips, oh, of course, yeah. of course, of course. Chips, they've got chips. And a, a lot of mayo, but they what? do like to splurge the mayo, it's kind of sickly sometimes, but... Why do you have the Donna Meat without the bread and salad? Sometimes you just get Donna Meat on top of uh, chips Who doesn't like chips? Nice. Who doesn't and like chips? And it's easier. Yeah. It's, for me, the next place we're going to is probably the place I've been more curious about. I've heard more about than anywhere else in Norwich, including the lecture halls at UEA. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a nightclub there. called Loft that I, I actually really want to go to. Loft is just one of those places where I struggle for words because I'm, I'm kind of the opinion that you either get it or you just don't. You'll enter these grimy walls with their kind of plastic airplane seats for sitting down and you'll go on the tiny dance floor and you'll listen to the music. It's quite bad, and you'll go to the smoking area, which is actually just a big staircase. And it will either be one of the greatest experiences of your life, or you'll leave in about half an hour. It consumes you, or it spits you out. And this is, well, this is like the Brandenburg Gate of Norwich. It's the entrance to Lot. I know I'm nearly there. This is what we call the home run, because it means you're nearly in yet. <laughs> oh, so is, a bit, is there a big queue? Oh, the queue goes... It wraps around. The, the queue goes every Thursday. It goes all the way down here, rounds this corner, and quite a few times goes back onto Prince of Wales. No. Every Thursday. I'm not sure how much of that whole sequence of footage I filmed about the Norwich student nightlife will make it into the final video. It will have to be heavily edited. Safe to say that's unusual for my videos to have a sequence such as this, but it's an important part of the story of a place. These are the kind of things that I would normally miss out if I just came here for a walk around without that kind of local insight. I wouldn't know, but for people that live in places, this is what they, this is what they talk about when they talk about their hometown or the town where they're living, town where they go to uni. So um, for those of you thinking this is a bit of a departure from the ordinary, it's an important part of the content, as important as the history of the cathedral or the castle and all that jazz. So we're back, we're back crossing the Wensum. I don't really know where we're going to be honest with you, but we're going to cross the Wensum and then go along the waterfront here, which is nice. So we're going past the wonderful Norwich station, which is where we arrived today on the train from London, down to the river. Norwich isn't all medieval churches and pubs and beautiful old Tudor buildings. There's also this whole thing here with the Hollywood Bowl and the Odia Nando's. And down there is the Queen of the Iceni Spoons, Weather Spoons, which is where the students do what they call prees. And now we cross this quite modern bridge back into another kind of newly built up part of Norwich. It's important to show all sides of a place, I think.
this is like a kind of post-industrial part of Norwich by the river. But then amongst it all, you've got this kind of timber-framed building here. It's clearly a, a regeneration area as well. St Anne's Quarter, Riverside Living and all that jazz. If I was making this video on my own, I probably would leave out all of this. I wouldn't go down to where the Spoons was and the Hollywood Bowl and all of that. But this is part of the town, part of the city as much as the rest of it. So we're going to go up to Museum Quarter, um, sorry, Castle Quarter. I don't think we're going to go in the castle because you have to pay to go in. There's a lot of us and it'll take a lot of time. It probably shuts quite soon. And then also there's a really lovely um, covered arcade there, as many of you know. I love a good covered arcade. There's a beautiful, it's called the Royal Arcade. And some lovely little streets around there and obviously a ton more churches and pubs. I don't think we've not really featured any pubs yet, have we? Oh, windy. So we need to feature a couple of pubs. We we'll have to try and find a few of the old pubs. So there's still plenty more in this Norwich walking tour. That rhymes. So this is the church of um, St. Peter Parmentergate. Parmentergate, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And this takes us up towards the castle and the market square. So this is not an active church anymore. It's a skate park and shop called Drugstore. All things on skate. I think, I think we have to go in. Dick and Liz right next to, right next to the next to the that place was a classic inside I couldn't really film on the skate park because there was like a kid skating in there a young kid but the guy who owns it is fantastic fantastic character gave me some local knowledge so this this church here was deconsecrated in 1980 now it's a skate shop and skate park love that and a number of the others were just simply because the congregation shrunk and no one was going to church anymore. So <laughs> that's why, in, you know, you never know if it's going to be a church or it's going to be something, something interesting. I need to say something more interesting, but something interesting. Wow, this is great. Everyone's uh, walked off ahead. Apparently Adam and Eve is the oldest pub in Norwich. So we might go there. Or the last pub standing, which is literally the last pub standing in King Street and that apparently is very old as well. So we're approaching the castle grounds. I don't think we're actually going to go in but just going through the gates is intimidating. I was just thinking it might be quite good to go in but it's actually closed. But it's a, it was a Norman royal palace, a medieval keep. Look at it, it's so imposing and intimidating. You can see look the massive mot that it stands upon. No one was getting up there, were they? Up to this imposing keep on the top. Wow. It gives you a great view out beyond Norwich as well. It's fantastic. So I just bumped into somebody who works at the museum and is also a tour guide at the cathedral. She very helpfully um, said, oh, you know, do you want some information for your video? So apparently, the, what I love about it is the castle was, was completed in 1096, but almost instantly became redundant because the walls were only three metres thick. And um, apparently to be resist, to resist um, gunpowder, you had, they had to be six metres thick. So it was built as a royal palace, it was used as a royal palace for a short period of time, but then was handed over in the 1300s to the people of Norwich who used it as their prison. And it remained a prison right up until the Victorian era, uh, when the prison reforms <laughs> got rid of places like that, because apparently the conditions were terrible. The roof had fallen in, the cells were around the outside of the keep, and the conditions were so bad that people got trench foot in their cells. There was no heating there, obviously the plumbing was terrible, and it was real swallow. So really, it was more of a prison than it ever was really a kind of royal palace or castle, which is interesting and the, the, the apparent what they call the dungeons were just the storerooms for the prison right this lot here i think need to be fed and watered so i imagine that's what we're doing now so we just stopped at the bell which is a spoons but i think it is a lovely old building 
And now we're going to, where are we going now? The market, I think. The market. Yeah. The market. Yeah. We've been joined by Norbu here. Hello, Hello everyone. This is Thank another God. local expert. And we're going to go to the market and the, I want to go to the Royal Arcade as well. Let's go. Right. Right. Let's go. We've had some food, we've had a pint. We're ready to roll. What I will say is this crowd here, we're taking them to a spoons and said, have what you want. And they were unbelievably restrained. They are, uh, I'm not sure whether they're a credit to the generation or that's a worrying sign. I'm not sure. The lamb in always looks interesting and usually quite busy, but it's a Tuesday today, so it's quiet. So this is, uh, this is effectively the High Street, Norwich High Street, the Haymarket. It's really lovely. This is the, the market here. This is a, an open market with these little market booths. It's an interesting little area. And up here, this pub, the Garnet, that's a really good pub. Been there on a previous visit. And now we're going to go into the Royal Arcade, the beautiful Royal Arcade. This is very late Victorian, isn't it? Beautiful. Gerald's department store, local independent department store. And I believe this is the, uh, the town hall, Norwich City Hall. This is Norwich Guild Hall. There's such a richness of medieval architecture here that you, in the end you even start to take it for granted a little bit. This is Lower Goat Lane. And this is Potter Gate, and you can see look, so many lovely old buildings here with the, the Belgian Monk pub down there, which I know is popular with uh, Norwich people. And this is St. John Madder Market, which is uh, one of the smallest medieval churches in Norwich. So here's the uh, here's a here's another church which is living on or something else. It's an antique shop now, an antiques arcade. I think the Quaker Meeting House links us back to Leytonstone. I have a feeling. Let's go and see. I might have got that completely wrong. I think there is a Buxton link, and of course the Buxtons lived at Leytonstone House. It's a beautiful building, isn't it? Here we go. So a couple of. East London legends here are recording the war. Elizabeth Fry, she worshipped at the Friends Meeting House. She was a prison reformer, of course, lived at, uh, was it West Ham House or Ham House, which is now West Ham Park, and Sir Thomas Fowl Buxton was an MP. Um, I'm not sure that Thomas Fowl Buxton is the, the Thomas Fowl that lived in Leytonstone. I don't think this one was, but he's the father of him married into the Gurney's banking family, Gurney's of Norwich. There's strong links between Norwich and East London. I'll link below to some of my sort of Leytonstone stuff where we talk about the influence of the Buxtons and the Gurney's. There's actually also something in my forthcoming book, which will be with you very soon, about all of that, because of their links to the Lee Valley. But the Gurney's, Buxton Gurney's, the banking family, that ends up as Barclays Bank. So that's the legacy today. Norwich, powerful place. We're just going to go down past the side of the church in this little alleyway here. 
This is St. St. Gregory's Alley that we've just walked down here. And this is, I think this is Charing Cross, this street here. And look, classic record shop over there, circular sound. This is uh, St. Benedict Street now. And this beautiful old medieval church here, I'm going to hazard a guess, is St. Benedict's Church, because this is St. Benedict Street, although you can never be sure. Another record shop in this beautiful old building here. And another church here. I should probably put a counter on the screen showing the number of churches that we pass. This one looks like it's being renovated. This is an interesting looking old pub. In fact, I think this is where we went for dinner on the first time that we came to Norwich. In fact, I think we just had drinks in there. Some good local ale. These uh, beautiful old timber framed building over there of some antiquity. And this old church hosts Norwich Art Centre. What, uh, what else do we need to see? Have we seen, um, have we seen the main site? We've seen most of it. This is a, quite a nice area, as yet, for me at least, un relatively unexplored. That The Plough is a good pub, just over there. We went there the nice first garden. day in Norwich, we? When, after we dropped you off at uni. I discovered that recently. Um, and apart from that, I mean, there's a record shop I came with uh, some back. friends early in first year. But apart from that, no, it's just like a, it is a nice area, hence why we don't come here that much. <laughs> um, you not painting a good picture well, of us, are you? I promise we do do nice things at Norwich. We do, but not for money. <laughs> you know, we do it cheap. This, this, you need money. There's no filth for us to roll around in here, so we just don't really frequent it. So apparently we've seen most of the highlights of Norwich. I know in the comments you're going to go, you missed this, that and the other. We haven't really done a lot of the history, have we? A lot of the important stuff, mentioned the famous people. But um, the, the student folk here have got to head back. They've got work to do, would you believe? You've got exams and stuff like that. So I can't thank you lot enough. For, for this. Oh, it's been a pleasure. No it's, been a pl it's been a pleasure. You thank, know. thank you so Come much. Yeah, please please join us again <laughs> soon. <laughs> the lovely home of Norwich. Thank you, yeah. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, subscribe, follow. Oh, yeah. Leave a comment. <laughs> Oliver, do you want to do a plug for? Do I want to do a plug for? The Lolly Show. The, the Lolly, Lolly Show. Lolly. Follow the Lolly Show at Instagram. It's me and my friend Leo's radio show. We, can't, we ramble for two hours about politics, history, and whatnots. Uh, it's very interesting. We're going to continue it third year, but what day? What give us time? a hit at three o'clock on a Sunday so, on the live wire. Good luck with the exams. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Sunday. you so much for that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So we're just going to walk back through the city to the station and get the train back to London. This is uh, St. John Madder Market. Exchange Street here. And now Bedford Street. I really love the streetscape of Norwich. It's really beguiling and beautiful and so full of intrigue and mystery. Norwich really is such a beautiful city to walk around. I've been completely beguiled by it through coming here to visit Ollie at uni. I'd be interested to hear from you in the comments other places that you think have an equal kind of historic appeal or equally as kind of charming and historic. It's just so, so littered with, with history, with old buildings and these, look, another one, look, constantly, there's another little lane here. Bridewell Alley, this is. come back full circle to where we met the kids earlier outside Cozy Club. So it seems like a good place to, to wrap up this rambling walking tour of Norwich. I'm, I'm, look, I'm certain we've missed out loads and loads of things and loads of history. So the comments below will be great because I know there's quite a few people that watch the videos who have a connection to Norwich or they still live here or they're from here. 
So um, the comments would be great. Thanks so much to the kids for providing that eccentric tour of Norwich, of student Norwich. So as I always like to say, I look forward to seeing your next walk, wherever that may be. And how many of you thought Norwich? Although I suppose I have teased it for a while, but I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea where the next one will be.